The family of an Australian aid worker killed in an Israeli airstrike has backed calls for a war crimes investigation. Live to Trudy McIntosh now. Trudy, what mm -hmm. has Zomi Frankholm's family had to say? Laura, her family are calling for the Israeli soldiers behind this airstrike to be investigated and, if warranted, for there to be war crimes charges laid. Zomi Frankom and six of her colleagues were killed in an Israeli strike in Gaza. They were trying to provide much-needed aid. They had been in communication with the IDF, had approval for this convoy, but nonetheless, three of these vehicles in the space of 2.5 kilometres were struck. Israel calling this now a grave mistake, saying this was a case of misidentification at night in a war zone. One of her friends has spoken to Sky News, though, uh, backing in the family's call for this war crimes probe. I think that's highly appropriate, you know. Um, and, if, and if that's the case and there could be some sort of closure, at least administratively, that would be great. I think we all see what tangibly happens with that, right? Um, I, I think that... Um, our family should, should definitely do that and pursue any means of closure that they're going to have. The founder of the World Central Kitchen, his renowned chef, Jose Andreas, uh, has posted a really heartbreaking tribute to Zomi on his social media, saying he wishes he never started this charity because if he didn't, his workers would now not be dead. Uh, he is also clearly un, um, unhappy with the explanation that Israel has given that this was somehow a mistake. Oh, is that we were targeted deliberately, non-stop, until everybody was dead in this convoy. This happened over more than 1.5, 1.8 kilometers. So this was not just a bad luck situation where, oops, uh, we dropped the bomb in the wrong place or, or not. And Trudy, the Australian government and the Australian mm. parliament more generally, they back this push for a war crimes inquiry? Well, not yet, Laura. The Prime Minister says he wants to wait and see the full outcome of Israel's investigation into this strike. He says in the conversation he had around this time yesterday with um, Prime Minister Netanyahu, he was given an assurance there will be a full and transparent uh, account of what happened. The Prime Minister's shopping short of the family's request to push for this inquiry. Look, we will uh, take advice on... Uh, an appropriate way forward. We await uh, a full and transparent uh, explanation, uh, firstly from uh, from Israel about what has occurred here and the circumstances. Uh, I certainly understand uh, that Zomi's family ha have been devastated. Oh, I think uh, if there's transparency in the Israeli government has shown deep remorse, I think we just need to be careful uh, in understanding while the grief is raw, uh, there, is, there is circumstances here beyond the control of, of a government itself and, and they admit the mistake, that those mistakes happen in, in an environment such as war and I think we just need to be careful about how far we take that. US President Joe Biden says Israel in a statement has not done enough to protect the lives of civilians and aid workers. He has telegraphed Laura he will be speaking to Israel's Prime Minister tomorrow local time. Okay, Trudy, thank you.